Okay, so we're basically doing the same thing with the word problems that we, as we have been doing, just putting them into a different equation, which is um, the equations that you'll usually start seeing. I don't know where the M came from, so I'm going to get rid of them. Delete. So um, basically, the numbers that you were putting here, the principal is the beginning, which is still the same. The ratio is 2, and the exponent is 6. So the equation is going to still look like this, but your numbers are going to change just a little bit. So it says plug in the numbers above into the correct spot. So the principal, if you see a different type of an equation, it's the principal or the starting number is always going to be the number that is not being raised to a power, but it's going to be that number in front. So a lot of times they call that an A. Okay, so that principle in that case was a 1. The ratio, another word for um, the ratio is called the growth factor. So the growth factor is like what number you're going to multiply over and over again, which is that B. And the exponent, it's still an exponent. And a lot of times it might be considered like time. Like in this particular problem, it is considered time when we talk about... Um, compound interest and stuff, which we'll, we will do very soon, that exponent will always be the t. So you're still basically using the same thing. You're just kind of like transferring it into this. So then you would still do 1 times 2 to the 6, and you'd still get 64. Okay. Same thing here. Your principal is 100, but you just need to know that that starting value always goes before the number that you're multiplying over and over. This one, it's decreasing by half every hour. So your ratio is going to be one half. And then it wants to know for four hours. So that's going to be your exponent. So again, the numbers are going to look very, very similar, or the equation is going to look similar. It's just I want you to be able to take any kind of an equation and plug the numbers in, just knowing that that's where it's coming from. So you would still get 6.25 milligrams. Okay, and the other two, the principal, again, is the starting amount. So the starting amount is 30. And then it rebounds to 75%. That's going to be this number right here, which is also considered, in this particular problem, it's not the growth factor. It is the decay factor. So you either have a growth factor or a decay fa factor. Since this one's getting smaller, it's going to be the decay factor. How many times will you multiply it? That's by the um, exponent, and it's doing the fourth time, so that would be four. So again, your starting amount is always the number in front of the growth or decay factor. And so when I put that in the calculator, I do get 9.5 and we should put little we'll feet out beside of it. Um, and the last one, you put $100 in the bank. Each year you get 5% interest on your money. How much money will you have in five years? So the principal starting amount is $100. The growth factor, since it's increasing, you've got to make sure, and anytime you put money in the bank, you, in, in, you assume that it's increasing. So you get 5% interest on your money, and so that's why it's going to be 1.05, so, because for it to increase, it has to be greater than 1. How many times will you multiply it? You're doing it in 5 years, so that would be a 5. And again, 100 times 1.05, and then it would be raised to the 5, so you would get $127.63. Make sure when it's talking about money that you always round it to the nearest cent. And the nearest cent is basically the same thing as the nearest hundredth. So you can kind of, those are kind of interchangeable.